What is the first name that comes out in your mind when you talk about operating system? If you're not a computer scientist, I bet it's Windows. Hey guys, this is Aishwam Shorjiv and today I'm going to talk about our favorite operating system, the Windows. Windows 1.0, the first version of Windows was released on November 20, 1985. Currently, we are on Windows 10, which was released on September 30, 2014 and whose latest update was released on May 9, 2017, which was a few days ago, and it was the 1703 version. Now, let's talk statistics. As of April 2017, 34.3% computers are running Windows 10 and around 76.3% are running Windows in general. So statistically it is the most successful operating system of all time and it is also my daily driver OS. Now let's get back to Windows 10. The latest update has a very polished UI and runs smoothly on most devices. Well a few days ago in an education event Microsoft launched the Windows 10 S which is targeted towards the students and is a direct competitor of the Chrome OS from Google. This is basically a cut down version of the Windows 10 Pro which is optimized and secure and have all the tools necessary for a student to take part in STEAM. At least that's what Microsoft says. You can learn more about Windows 10 as in the link below in the description. Windows 10 is the best and all but we the ungrateful people like to pirate everything. We are so into pirating software that we even use a fake activator to activate the OS that operates our computer. I know people who think Windows is a freeware and it can be bought with 50 BDT which is Bangladeshi Taka. Pirating Windows can be very dangerous because it has some security issues such as it hinders the normal delivery of updates asterisks. Windows Defender is disabled asterisks. and you'll have to use a third party antivirus that you will pirate for sure. So, you're prone to ransomware, malware, and other deadly viruses. Well, if you're starting to use your first computer and you don't have enough money to buy a license key, then you can try the free OSs like Ubuntu, CentOS, and other free Linux distros. But if you absolutely need Windows, why don't you go buy OEM keys? The OEM keys are really cheap. They're around 18 to 20 dollars for Windows 10 Pro and I've bought mine from Vibe Gaming for 1399 BDT which is Bangladeshi Dhaka of course and they're really good. If you're worried about how the product key will be sent to you, don't worry you'll just have to send the money to them and they will immediately send you a key. In my case they actually did send immediately, I don't know about you. Now all you'll have to do is reinstall your windows or apply the key to an existing operating system. Point to be noted, windows will let you use an unactivated version of windows but there will be a watermark and they will lock down some features like personalization and stuff like that. That won't affect your normal work, at least that won't hinder your security because IMO, personalization is not important than security I guess. So please don't pirate, especially not OSS. You will get links to everything down in the description. Thank you for watching my video. Smash the like button hard and don't forget to share this with your friends and comment down below if you have any suggestions. Peace out.